Hello everybody, today I'm preparing mountain spinach curry. You can use any greens for this recipe. You can use fenugreek greens or you can use dill leaves. You can use anything or you can mix the greens and you can prepare this curry. This is excellent with rice or chapati or just with idli or dosa. It's a very nice curry to complement your uh, recipe. Now what I've done is uh, I've gone ahead and washed the spinach thoroughly and I have chopped it, finely chopped it and now I'm going to use this for the curry but first of all I'm just going to go ahead and uh, cook the tomato, onion and chilies along with garlic in a pressure cooker. Uh, why I'm doing this is because uh, the onions and uh, tomato will cook fast and you will have a lot of time to prepare uh, other dishes. So we are just going to reduce the cooking time because we do not want to add water and bring it to a boil and all of that. So we just add some water, add some chili powder, turmeric powder and coriander powder to uh, chilies, garlic and onion and tomato and place it in the pressure cooker and put it for two whistles. It will be done and you will have a nice uh, mushy uh, gravy already. So now I'm just going to place it in the pressure cooker on a medium flame. I'm going to put it on two to three whistles. So once it is cooked to two to three whistles, I'm just going to go ahead and add it to a different pot and add the greens and cook it down. Now if you see the recipe in detail is posted on my blog. Blog link will be posted in the description box below this video. You can also visit me on my Facebook fan page where I'll be posting a lot of uh, tips along with the recipes so you can visit me if you do not want to follow me on my blog you can always follow me on my facebook fan page so i'll be posting a lot of recipes there you can interact to me on my facebook if you like this channel do subscribe to me on this channel as you can see i've already gone ahead and pre-cooked the dal also i've used uh, split pigeon peas and i've cooked the dal prior and uh, now the tomatoes and onions have cooked. I've transferred it to a different pot and I've put it on a medium flame. At this point I'm going to add the mountain spinach and uh, I'm just going to give this a good mix and allow this to cook. Uh, this spinach will take no time in cooking. It will take about hardly 5 to 10 minutes to cook and you just place a cover and allow this to reduce. It will reduce. Now this is very good for people um, who are having diabetic problem we are having BP uh, blood pressure that is and you know you eating greens on a regular basis is a must please try to eat a lot of greens on your daily on a daily basis it's very good so now you can see the spinach is completely reduced and I'm just going to add salt at this point do not add salt prior because you if you add salt prior your gravy will tend to be salty now add dal I always cook cook dal um, once the spinach has cooked down but some people add everything together and they cook it we do not do that way once the spinach has cooked down then I add my dal and I just give it a good stir always prepare excess dal when you whenever you're preparing dal prepare excess dal and store it in the fridge because you don't know uh, you can use it for a different recipe so always have dal prepared now I'm just going to use a masher and I'm going to mash this um, to light mushy sort of consistency and this uh, will taste excellent you can use any masher I've got a tr just a traditional uh, wooden masher that we use at home and then just going to give this a good mash if needed you can add some water I already added some tamarind paste also which did not record for some reason I don't know why I did not record that part I did add some tamarind paste to this now I'm just going to give this a good m mix and I'm just going to bring it to a good boil and then I'm going to reduce it. Now in a different fry pan I have uh, added some oil and to the fry pan I'm just going to temper it with some mustard seeds, uh, cumin seeds and a little bit of black gram and uh, dried red chilies and some alsafoetida. We always temper our South Indian curries this way because this is a simple and basic recipe that I'm showing you with the mountain spinach but later on I'm going to show you different variations what we prepare in Karnataka. So you know we have a lot of variations for this. Uh, people just they do this basic gravy at home in South India but there are a lot of variations in the same recipe. You might be really surprised and seeing certain ingredients that you do not add in this particular gravy. So you know you'll ask me why you're doing this. Uh, 
it's very nice and nutritive value value is very high when you're preparing in that way so i'll be posting a lot of variations in the same recipe so do try this recipe as you can see i'm just going to go ahead and temper it with some asafoetida dried red chilies cumin and uh, mustard seeds along with some black gram and temper the gravy it will give a good aroma and taste and um, you can serve this with rice chapatis idlis dosas as you wish the recipe in detail is on my blog blog link is posted in the description box below this video if you have any queries related to the recipe you can always ask me uh, you can mail me your recipe request so i'll definitely uh, try and uh, prepare all your recipe requests and i'll be posting a lot of uh, winter related recipes soon and uh, as you can see now the gravy is done uh, for winter this is really good it's really soothing and nice when you have it with rice and you know it's a comfort food i've gone ahead and served my gravy i'll see you soon on the next recipe until then thanks for watching friends bye bye